Kara Green, and for my American artist, I chose Ella Fitzgerald. Ella Fitzgerald is one of the greatest jazz singers, um, and she's very well known. Um, the reason why she's so well known is because of her energy that she had throughout all of her performances, um, the ability to listen and to improvise on spot um, during any of her songs that she sang um, for people. And, and the influence that she had on jazz singers as well as jazz um, instrumentalists. So Ella Fitzgerald is one of the most influential artists because she was able to um, take any new kind of music, any new style, and apply it to herself. And um, she just, she's, she's amazing. Okay. <laughs> um, so the beginning of her life, um, on November 21st, 1934, um, she decided to go to the Apollo Theater and she went to amateur night. And so while she was there, she decided to, she was gonna dance. According to her friends, she was a great dancer. That was what she wanted to do. But when she got there, she started to feel uncomfortable and decided not to dance. So she decided to sing. So um, she sang the object of my affection. And while she got up on the stage, and um, Ella was not, a, she wasn't very wealthy. She was very poor at the beginning of her life. And so she got up there, and she was not dressed the way that a performer would be dressed. And so the crowd booed her and told her to get off. But what happened was she started to sing. But unfortunately, she messed up, and the whole crowd you know, got mad at her and told her to leave. But she stopped, and she went quiet for a second, and then started to sing again. And what came out was this pure, just this pure voice. It was clean. It was precise. There were no issues with like what she was singing, and it was it was gorgeous. Um, so the beginning first, it was swing. She started singing swing first. That was what she was really into. Um, what helped her was her American, African-American roots, and she brought those out with her singing, and um, she just had this natural ability to swing. And she got into the music, and she was just great. Um, so eventually she was hired by Chick Webb and his band, and the first song that she sang with them was A Tisket A Tasket. Um, so this was a, um, a swing song, and she sang this uh, with him, and it was one of the first songs that she sang, and so it stayed on the number one chart, one well, number one on the charts for ten weeks in a row. And I'll just play a little bit of this. So. Oh, my volume might be down. Oh. So. Um, so just play a little bit. A tisk in a tasket, a brown and yellow basket. I send a letter to um, so my This is one this became a very popular song because of her and the way that she sang it and everything. Okay. So um the next thing that she um, started to do was and that was um, part, it was a new style of jazz. And um, she was introduced to jazz by Dizzy Gillespie. And he um, taught her how to scat. And she became very well known for scatting and imitating instruments. Um, so an example of this is Flying Home. Um, and this whole song that she's singing is pretty much just her song. Um, thank you. She's just like, and scouting is kind of like random kind of syllables type things, and you're just kind of improvising on what you're, what you're singing. <laughs> 